I met Aubrey Barkley in March after she allowed me to visit her ranch to do a story about a farrier. In Havila, I'm Corey O'Leary, your neighborhood reporter. She was proud of the land she lived on, which had been in her family for over 60 years. But after the Burrell fire, her property was largely destroyed. I was amazed. The fire had came through so hot and so fast. And the wind was just crazy that I thought there's no way the chickens would be able to make it. Aubrey Barkley has been through a lot these past few weeks, but when I met her at the ranch she lived on before the Burrell fire destroyed it, she was upbeat. It was nice meeting you. Telling me her dog that ran away before they evacuated also survived the fire. I had walked into the house and there was, I mean, ash everywhere. But as soon as Hefe saw us, he like came out from under the bed and ran to me, just so happy that his mom was home and like he was alive. Barkley told me her two horses are at the Rankin Ranch. They offered to board them when she was evacuating. I'd be more than grateful for them to do that. Not be living here right now, but they're still forever going to be my neighbors. The house she was living on her property is still standing, but was so damaged by smoke and heat that she's not sure if any of it are salvageable. She owned another house in the area that was completely destroyed. Other structures on her property were lost, like historic water tower and her well. I want to raise my family here. This, this property has been in my family since the 1960s. It's my dream, but it's also my grandma, my grandpa's, my mom's, and I just want to keep that alive. For our, our favorite dirt bikes, we thought in a, in a field with nothing, they wouldn't catch fire or anything. Barkley said she was dropped by insurance last year. And before she can work on her property, she's waiting for help from FEMA for debris removal. Right now, I can't do anything. We can't clean this up. Her priority right now is clearing the large cottonwood tree that was damaged by the fire and now leans over her house, but told me she's not sure her plans for that yet. It's just, it could fall at any moment. In the meantime, she's settling in with her family at a temporary place. Recently receiving a large donation of clothes and toys for her two sons. Last night was like the first night I was able to feel like home again, you know, seeing full closets, full shoes, full toy bins. Like it was so nice. Corey O'Leary, 23 ABC News.